Hello and welcome to another new ideas video, this time around rechargeable AA batteries. Today I'm looking at five different AA nickel metal hydride batteries. Do they live up to their specifications and are they value for money? I charge these using my Xtar Dragon Charger set to charge at 1 amp. Whilst this test isn't scientific in any way, it is a real world user test. This was instigated when I bought a set of 8 2500mAh batteries from Amazon and, as we'll see later, they didn't quite live up to my expectations. So I thought I'd buy some other batteries and see how they performed in comparison. They were charged and discharged three times before this test in a group of four and they were initially run through the test cycle on the charger as well. The first lot to finish were the EBLs, followed by the Amazons, followed by the Duracells and then the ladders and finally the Panasonics. I then used this setup, a USB powered fan and a battery box to discharge the set of four batteries. The key advantage of nickel metal hydrides and these batteries especially is their low self discharge. Let me know in the comments if this is something you'd like to see in a future video. In the last 12 months several batteries based on lithium technology have made their way to the market. These work slightly differently as there is a voltage converter built into the battery. They take the higher native voltage of the lithium cell to a normal AA voltage. Again if this is something you'd like to be tested please let me know as I do have a set of red EBL lithium batteries. Most of these batteries performed well within a couple of percentage points of their stated capacity apart from the EBLs. They were about 600mAh short even when charging at half an amp. I do wonder if these have been put in the wrong wrapper at the factory as they are so far off. Maybe I'll revisit these cells sometime in the future. I've been making different sorts of videos over the last few months. If you're interested in seeing what I've been up to, which is remaking old SD movie trailers and updating them to HD, please follow the link in the description below. There will be some Amazon affiliated links to some of these batteries below, apart from the ladder of course which you can only get from Ikea. There was nothing surprising in the amount of time these took to discharge compared to the amount of time they took to charge. However, their cutoff voltages were very slightly different. In this test, the most expensive batteries, the Panasonic Eneloop Pros, outlasted the second place Ikea ladder batteries by around 18 minutes. The 2500mAh Duracells came in slightly behind the ladders in third position. As expected, the cheaper but also lower specified Amazon Basics batteries came in fourth position. The EBLs were the same cost per battery, but with a stated capacity of 2500mAh, they only managed around 1900. In the value for money stakes, there was a clear winner the IKEA ladder batteries. At around £7 for four, being great value for money, and nearly achieving their stated 2450mAh. Please feel free to comment down below, like and subscribe if you want to, and thanks for watching, see you next time.